Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and it is very cold outside. It's like minus 14, um, so I'm shooting my intro in my car, and it's a little windy, so another reason. So today we're at Captain Robbins, which is right there. Captain Robbins Family Restaurant, which is in Mississauga, Ontario, so essentially just a little bit outside of Toronto. Today we're here to do their scary breakfast challenge. I was here two years ago, and I did my first, or sorry, no, my second challenge ever which was called the Scary Burger Challenge. So this challenge today is a massive breakfast. Weight I've heard is approximately somewhere between eight, nine pounds. One person said seven, so we'll say between seven and nine pounds. Um, it consists of three massive pancakes, what they call three orders of hash browns, which I think is supposed to be 30 orders of hash browns. You then have um, three eggs, three pieces of ham, three sausages, I believe it's three pieces of bacon, three pieces of French toast, three pieces of toast. Uh, so all that stuff, you have 45 minutes to complete it. If you do, you get the meal for free. <clears throat> if you do not, it is 30 bucks. Apparently this challenge is undefeated as well. Um, the one gentleman said maybe somebody kind of did it when they first opened, but when they first opened, um, it wasn't this big. It wasn't like, like their idea of the scary breakfast then was just like a, I don't know, like a three egg, like, like just a large breakfast. So undefeated challenge. It says it's scary. Let's go see what it's like. Eating with my good friend, Mr. Darian Thomas today and his dad. His dad said he might try food challenge. So let's go in and see what we can do. Let's have some fun. All right, everyone. So here we are, the massive scary breakfast challenge. I just took my pancakes and my French toast on the, put on this plate so I can let the hash browns cool off. They're like really incubated in the heat. Um, so it looks really good. We have Darian's dad with us right here. He's going to do their burger challenge, which I will say, honestly, I think the poutine's bigger than what I did. I did about two years ago. And we have Mr. Darian, of course. So we're both going to dig into this. It should be fun. I also got some uh, sugar-free syrup because I yeah, keep calories down for, for a general health. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's start. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we are doing what I actually do believe to be my first breakfast challenge. I did an omelette challenge before, so I mean if you consider that a breakfast challenge, but this is kind of like my first mixed breakfast challenge, or I guess if you include an omelette, my second breakfast challenge ever. So I've been wanting to do this challenge for, well, what was about two years. Um, as I mentioned, I was previously here and did their burger challenge that Darian's dad is trying right now. Um, it was my second food challenge I've ever attempted, and I will put a link down in a comment below if you want to check that out afterwards. So since then, the owner of the restaurant um, told me about this scary burger or scary breakfast challenge, which again had been undefeated, and I had been wanting to attempt it since. However, back then I knew I did not have the ability, the capability of actually defeating a challenge of such nature as the burger challenge was about uh, maybe about five, six pounds then, and I'd say my max capacity was maybe about seven. Now this breakfast challenge is coming out, I'd say more about like at eight pounds. Um, so again, I knew I didn't have it back then, but I wanted to give it a try now that I've gotten a little better. I forgot to sweep my coffee. The nice thing with challenge of this uh, nature is that it has a lot of variety. So it's kind of nice to be able to, you know, switch it up between, um, like, I like French toast. So, like, the French toast and the meats were the parts that I really enjoyed about the challenge. Um, so those were the nicer parts. The more difficult, less, let's say, exciting parts, at least for myself, were being the hash browns and the pancakes. There are so, so, so many hash browns in this challenge. Um, the pancakes were big as well, but I can plow through pancakes but when you have like probably what is four pounds of hash browns, maybe three pounds, no more than, no less than three pounds, but I'd say more like four, it's a lot. Uh, but nonetheless, I mean, you know, you get through them, do what you can, at least try to, anyway, that was the hope. You did get to choose how your eggs were done. I just chose scrambled and I uh, got my, fr uh, my toast. I asked, uh, again, you had a preference. I asked for a wheat toast or a whole wheat toast, unbuttered, um, which is what I am having at this moment right now. So kind of cool, this challenge was kind of undefeated. Again, as I mentioned, the owner told us that it was technically undefeated. However, like back in the day when it was just like a big breakfast, he did have an individual eat it. But again, times have changed. Believe it or not, this was the first challenge I had done in about two months time. Um, you know, after a, a long period of break of doing challenges, 
Um, even though I had to like done a couple buffet kind of all you can eat style videos, this is the first challenge I'd done in two months. Pancakes and hash browns left. Which was not for any other reason besides I hadn't really done any traveling or I didn't have the opportunity to do any food challenges. Not that I was intentionally taking a break, um, but you know, definitely I kind of realized and identified like, holy jump, it's I am rusty, I'm not used to eating quick. So, you know, it was a perfect uh, time to go do this challenge with uh, Darian and his dad. With the uh, challenge I forgot to mention earlier, you do have to have a beverage or a drink. Um, you can choose like about a liter, it's like about a liter, so you can choose like a liter of coffee, which I did, or a liter of juice for the breakfast, and then you have to have a liter of soda pop with the burger challenge. So yeah, but that, I think that's all the information there. I'll add that everybody, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video, hopefully you can get some wins, and uh, well, let's see what happens. So we're uh, we're about just over five minutes in, five minutes fifteen seconds. Darren stats doing quite well. He's about halfway through the burger. Darren's doing well. Pretty much done everything but the hash browns. I just have basically the pancakes and the hash browns left, so we're all doing quite well. Just the pancakes left. We have some guests around here loving their looks, getting some real horrified looks here. Let's try to get her in camera. She's like, I'm going to bring her across the over here, and they're like, oh, well, maybe we'll sit over there. <laughs>
Ten minutes in. Just a little bit of pancake left. Gary just has his French toast and a little bit of hash browns. And the burger is still going down quite well. And the poutine is going down as well. Leave no doubt. French toast is killing it. Darian's dad has, again, a good bit of the burger, a good bit of the poutine. And both gentlemen have about 34, 33, it's about 33 minutes left. Both are doing excellent. Oh, face it, Darian. Oh, there you go. And two of the burger, two of the three burger patties down. So he's doing well. Doing good, dude. Last bite. The man, the myth, the legend, the bean curry himself. Thank you. 